Hello there. Welcome to MaxRed Embedding SDK Playground tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the authoring mode features in Embedding SDK. Uh, let's get started. And I'm going to click the Start Over button. So you see the list of examples. I'm going to pick one of the example, so which is called authoring. So let's click this. So when you run this, uh, it will show some instructions and ask you to change the environment. Since the authoring mode is not a, uh, it's not only uh, it's not available with the guest authentication. So I have an environment uh, which has the authoring mode enabled. So I need to log in. So let's see. I need to go to the environment. I'm going to change the URL to use my environment instead instead of the demo. So here, I'm going to also change the URL in the uh, here. Okay, so this will be 271, 275. Okay, that's my environment. So I'm going to run this after finish this. I'm going to run this. Uh, it shows the dossier in authoring mode, right? You see the dossier is running in authoring mode. It's not in consumer mode, consuming mode. So let's see what happened. So in the configuration, uh, we have a, uh, a property called dossier render in mode. So if you specify uh, authoring, so this will be in authoring mode. If I don't have this, let's see if I don't have this or have this in the consuming mode, um, you see, this is not in authoring mode, right? This is in the consuming mode. So if I change this back, you'll see this is running in authoring mode. There are other uh, parameters we use to control the uh, UI in authoring mode. So this is specified in this configuration. So this is inside the configure object, okay? So menu bar, so here we hide the menu bar to go to the library. If we don't hide this, you'll see, if I change this to true, uh, run this, you'll see the button. In the authoring mode, you'll see the buttons go to the library right here, right? If I don't want to see this, you'll see uh, this is gone. Uh, another thing we did is in the toolbar. So right now we hide one of the button to add data. So all these buttons can be, uh, all these toolbar buttons can be customized. If you want to selectively hide some toolbar, you can use this toolbar. Uh, add a, like the name, available options here, you set the visibility to false to enable to hide it. Uh, another thing you can customize is the panel visibility. So, so right now we only make the content panel visible. If I want to uh, see other panels, if I change this data set channel panel to be true, if I run this again, you'll see uh, more panel will be open. Right, so the data set panel will be open. So you can set this uh, when you render this in authoring mode, you can set which panel to show. However, it doesn't remove the panel from the dossier. So you can always see this. You can always, user can always show this uh, in the, uh, from the menu. Okay, so um, I'm going to close this. So close button will switch, will change to the uh, consuming mode, right? So let's see. If I change this, it will change to the uh, consuming mode. So um, in the code, we enable, whenever we close the button, we listen to an event. Let me show you the code. So whenever I close the button, so we have this, right? Even does authoring close function. So whenever, uh, so we, we register event once after we DOS is rendering, we register event, we use this event ID, unclose, right? Unclose, we call this function. Uh, this function does is just to make this button show. So what code What code is in behind the button? So behind this button, we have a, um, this is a function behind this button. So we call embedding SDK switch to mode authoring in order to switch to authoring mode. Let's click this button. So if I click this button, right, we switch, we call it embedding SDK uh, to switch this to authoring mode. So you see this is changed to authoring mode. So that's how it does. So uh, to summarize what we covered here. So one thing you can do is to, um, to show the dossier, render the dossier in authoring mode. If you decide, you can use this parameter, dossier 
handle in mode authoring to show authoring mode you can use the authoring uh, parameter to control the ui you want to see in the authoring mode uh, you can use the event to listen to uh, this close event you can also listen to the authoring mode if you look at the event listener right you can also listen to uh, some other event let's see what I, what else you can use uh, so there's 70 even handlers. Uh, let's see. Uh, authoring close, close event or save, right? Whenever you save this, you can also listen to event. Mm, another thing you can do is you call the embedding SDK to switch. You can implement some functionality in your page. You have a button, right? Use a click button. You want to switch between authoring mode and uh, um, and the uh, uh, consuming mode. However, there's no, right now we do not support switching from uh, all three mode to consuming mode. So you use this button to switch. So there's no functionality right now to switch between all three mode to consuming mode. All right, um, that's this example. So we have more examples in the embedding SK playground. Feel free to take a look. Thank you for watching. See you next time.